Hi guys, I'm here to do the last update of 2019. Can't believe we are already at the end of the year. I haven't done a channel update in a while. I don't actually remember what I last sort of talked about, but as the year ends, I just have a, a couple of things to update everybody on and um, hopefully you all had a fantastic year and things are gonna go great for you all. Heading into 2020, I just want to take the time to first say thank you to everybody for all of your support. Considering that I don't have as much time to work on YouTube and Twitch and all these things as much as I used to, um, I've been fairly consistent, I would say. My view count and everything has sort of been consistent. and. I'm actually quite happy with that because even though I'm not growing a lot, I'm also not just fading into obscurity and like nobody is watching or commenting or anything like that. Um, I still get a pretty decent uh, interaction with people. I still get comments and views and I still get to uh, talk with people and get some good feedback and things like that. So that makes me really happy and I really do appreciate all of the support. Um, I know that with how YouTube is now and how things are uh, changing and things like that, you know, it's it's kind of working in a backwards direction. It's not going forward. YouTube is not what it used to be. Uh, certainly not like eight or nine years ago when I started doing this YouTube thing, but I still enjoy it enough that I do plan on being here throughout um, 2020, hopefully. So the last thing I did, obviously, was Costume Quest. As of recording this video, it's the 19th of December, and I think I still have four or five Costume Quest DLC videos to upload. I don't know when I'm going to get around to uploading this channel update, um, but after the Grubbins on Ice DLC, I literally have nothing. Zilch, nothing recorded at all. I've actually been really good this year about recording things really far in advance, finishing it, and then starting a new um, project. I managed to do that with Murdered Soul Suspect. I had that uploading while I was doing Contrast, and I had Contrast finished um, and ready for upload before I had even started Costume Quest. Um, to put it into perspective, I started making the videos for Costume Quest back in August. And since then, I haven't really done a lot of recording. I did the Grubbins on Ice later and I had to go back and fix a couple of um, videos in Costume Quest while I was uploading them, um, but that kind of gives you a good idea about sometimes just how little time I really have um, to spend on videos. So I'm going to be taking a little break. You won't see any new content for a little while. It's an undisclosed time frame like I can't tell you guys like oh I'm gonna be off for a month or two months I'm hoping to take some time off of work in the new year um, after Christmas and New Year's has settled because right now it's absolutely bonkers um, and this time of year is also just crazy with family and the holidays and things like that um, but I hope in January um, I can just kind of slow down take things easier and actually sit down and have a little bit more time to focus on um, making some more videos and getting back into it, so to speak. And by that time, I'm also hoping to have my new PC. I've picked out all the parts, I've priced it, I basically just need to breathe in really deep and fork over the money for it, um, and then wait for it to be shipped to me. So I'm hoping that that is going to make a huge difference. Um, my computer is about 10 years old at this point, and it runs, but it's starting to fall behind with today's technology. Streaming is a huge one. Streaming is really, really hard because it can barely run uh, newer and more modern games. Like it can run Fallout 4, for example, which I've streamed a lot. Um, but anything beyond Fallout 4 is like basic graphics. It, it just can't run. Um, and I've had some problems with uh, stuttering and frame drops and things like that. So I'm hoping that that's just going to not be an issue at all when I get a new computer. Um, I have an updated version of Sony Vegas that I'm going to install on my new computer when I get it, which will hopefully make for better um, rendering when I'm doing um, videos. 
and I'm also going to be having it uh, come with an Elgato installed inside of it, which is a capture card, um, but it will also allow for better streaming. I can capture off of um, console as well, so I hope that that gives me really good incentive to actually kind of learn newer technology and keep up because I'm very much kind of like an old person <laughs> in that regard, like I'm set in my ways. Once I find something that works, I don't ever want to change it. And it's worked okay for me so far, but I think um, with a newer computer, it'll be interesting to see kind of what I'll be able to do. And I think it'll give me some more options in terms of um, recording and rendering and streaming and things like that. Um, and hopefully it gives me incentive to stream more. I do apologize for that as well. Uh, I streamed, I think, like a week and a half ago, but it was my first stream in probably three months. So I definitely always have it in the back of my mind, like, I need to stream, you know, I need to kind of just keep checking in with that. But again, it's one of those things where you don't always have the time or as an adult, you think, well, I have time, but my time is better spent doing other more boring, mundane adult things. Um, so I can't make any promises that I'm I'm going to do more and I'm going to be like super active, but it's always the hope and I like to just kind of share my thoughts and my feelings and kind of what I hope to do going forward and uh, hopefully I can be accountable for that. Another cool thing that I want to share with you guys, and I have already shared this to Facebook and Twitter, um, but I'll share it here as well, is I managed to find a emulation program for the Nintendo DS, which for me is huge because there are so many Harvest Moon games that are handheld. Um, that seems to be kind of how they've gone in the last couple of years, and I've missed out on recording a lot of them, even though I have played most of them. I've put in so much time into games like Harvest Moon DS. Um, I'm currently playing Sunshine Islands, which also, by the way, I can uh, put that out here is probably going to be the next Harvest Moon game I'm going to play. Um, I'm about seven years into the uh, game itself. I'm still playing it on my DS, so I'm definitely going to need like a little bit of a break before I fully commit to doing like another three or four years of that um, on recording. But I've managed to download the emulator, I've tested it, I've recorded it, and it all works. It's now a totally new world where I can actually get into kind of doing more Harvest Moon games because console is always my preference. I don't actually play a ton of handheld stuff, um, but Harvest Moon is like pretty much the backbone of this channel, let's just be honest. And uh, I was kind of running out of options. I was going to go back and do like the old, old Harvest Moon games, like the original one, which I have on my Wii. Um, I have had a Game Boy Advance emulator for a super long time, which is incredibly easy to run. And it also plays Game Boy Color games. So I have all those older Harvest Moon games. And although I think it's really nice to go back to classics, I think people are more interested in the more modern ones. And with that being said, I say modern, uh, but Sunshine Islands, I think, came out in like 2009. So I'm still super far behind. This is just how I am. I'm like years behind kind of where we currently are. Um, but I hope that that satisfies some of you. I, th I hope that kind of excites some of you and you um, kind of look forward to that because it really does open up a lot of options. Even if I never get to the point of 3DS, like say I never get to the 3DS era of uh, current Harvest Moon uh, games and I kind of miss out on those. There's a lot that I can do for the DS. And like I said, I have played most of them. I've played Tale of Two Towns, uh, Island of Happiness, Sunshine Islands, Harvest Moon DS, all of those types of things. So um, for those of you who are looking for more Harvest Moon content, then that's definitely something that is going to be happening in the future. But again, Harvest Moon takes up a lot of my time um, because I like to be as thorough as possible. And um, it's a really, really time consuming process. So I don't have a good uh, date for you guys. I can't tell you like, I'm gonna take a month break and then in February, I'm gonna start Harvest Moon. 
you know, I can't say that, um, but like I said, I'm going to kind of finish playing it, hopefully in my own free time, and then I'm going to look back at where I can make changes to make um, a Let's Play shorter and sweeter, because seven years is just like a super long time to play any Harvest Moon game. Um, and that doesn't just open the venue up for Harvest Moon, that opens up the venue for anything else that I have on the DS or anything else that you guys want to see on, um, on handheld. So right now, really, I have most things available to me. I have the ability to play older consoles. Um, I have some emulators, um, which might be smoother to run instead of trying to record directly off of a console. Um, last gen, so I've got the ability to record 360 and the PS3. I also have a PS4 and a 1, so I have all of that um, as well as my PC as well. So usually it's not that I can't figure out how to get footage off of a system, for example. Um, it's just that I really struggle with what to play. I get extremely overwhelmed and I just can't pick something. I have so much choice that I just cannot pick something. Um, but anyways, so that's just a bit of an update because I, for years and years I just couldn't find out how to work it and I couldn't figure out how to record it and I was like, oh well, screw this, I'm not even going to bother, I'm just going to stick with console. Um, but I hope that now that I've actually figured all of that out, that's a very real possibility in the future and um, it'll allow me to continue making some of the more kind of more popular content on this channel. I do have some games written down, some ideas, I do have um, some things in mind. Again, it's just kind of taking the time to actually sit down, practice everything, record everything, render it out, upload it, blah blah blah. It's just the process, it's having the time, and that's really the, uh, the hardest thing. 2019 was a pretty busy year for me, um, and I'm getting older, unfortunately. Um, when I started the channel, I was, I think, like 19, 18. I was young. Um, and I'm closer to 30 now than I am to 20, which is like really scary. Um, but that's just the reality of it as you get older, just like the less and less time that you have. Um, but there's other kind of goals that I at least want to do before I ever get to a point where I don't want to do this anymore or I just really don't have time to do it at all or it's just not worth it to me. Um, and I'm always open to suggestions. I know a lot of the time I say that and that I don't actually do the things that you guys ask me to do, but it is good even if I don't take the suggestion just to hear ideas for genres. So if you guys are looking for more RPGs, if you're looking for more short and sweet games that are like 10 or 12 parts long, if you're looking for indie games, um, if you're looking just to watch Harvest Moon, um, it's always good just to get group feedback. Because you might suggest a game and I'm like, I don't really want to play that, but I might hear five or six suggestions for games in the same genre and then I'm like oh okay it's been a while since I've done an RPG I need to find an RPG that I would really actually enjoy playing and and put that out um and you guys do give me really good feedback um I know I got great feedback on Costume Quest and uh, a lot of you have asked me to do Costume Quest 2 which I do want to do this year. I think I'll save it for the next Halloween special. Hopefully I can actually get that out around Halloween, which would be fantastic. Um, and uh, then there's also just some personal goals that I, I want to do, like I said. Um, and I have access to a lot of things. So yeah, just keep feeding me suggestions. Keep um, letting me know, you know, if you are watching something or I'm, I'm uploading something and you're like, you know what, I'm going to skip this one. I'm not going to watch this. I'm going to wait until you come up with something new or do more of this. Then I'll try and listen the best that I can because um, when you have a channel, community is probably the most important aspect of it. Um, and uh, I really, I really do appreciate all of that feedback. So I don't really know how much of an update this actually was. Um, it was a lot of me just rambling, but that's the usual there's nothing new about that um 
and I guess I'll put everything in the description for you guys. Uh, for those of you who may not know where I'm at other than YouTube, um, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, which I don't use that often, um, but I do, I always give updates everywhere though. If I'm going to update or do an update on Facebook, I will do one on Twitter. Um, and then the big updates like streaming and channel updates, I always do on YouTube. Um, and I also recently made a Discord. People were asking about it. I'm a complete noob when it comes to Discord. I do not particularly like it. I don't use it a lot, but I'm hoping that people can kind of teach me and help me and I can just kind of have some good chats with you guys, just like normal everyday human chat. You guys can send me some funny memes, whatever the case may be. Um, I'll put the link for that. Um, and I also have a Patreon, which I've mentioned here and there, which again was opened by request. Um, so it's not required. I don't ever require anybody to give me any money for this. This is just a hobby. I do get a bit of money from Google. They pay me. Um, so completely 100% not required, but I will post a link in the description. Um, and just to give you an idea of what you would get with Patreon, um, the... A tier that I have available right now, like the lowest tier, you just get um, updates earlier than other people and you just get kind of some bonus things that I don't always post anywhere else. Um, and then the second tier, which is I think like five dollars or something, um, I actually post the entire playlist that is coming up to my Patreons. So, uh, for example, Murdered Soul Suspect, I had all of those videos, that entire playlist, completely finished and uploaded before I ever started publishing it to YouTube. And I shared that to my patrons. So they were actually able to binge watch and go through and watch um, Murder Soul Suspect before anyone else could. I don't have a lot to offer because, like I said, I don't do this a lot. Um, but there are some of you out there who's like, you know what, I just want to throw a couple bucks to people that I like. And that's generally what my, what my Patreon is. It's some people I know, just friends. Um, so there's that if you want that. Um, I'm not terribly active these days, like I said. So if you do follow me on social media and you don't see any posts, you see crickets, <laughs> you haven't missed anything. I'm just not um, there a whole lot. Um, I will also be posting a end of year video that I do every year where I just kind of go over um, what games I played in 2019, what games I liked, what games I didn't, um, some of the goals that I had accomplished. I do that every year and I find that really fun and uh, again that's just something I have to find the time to do. Uh, but I will do it eventually. I'm, I've kind of started making some strides towards how I'm going to put that video together. Um, so that's just another kind of fun additional video that I like to do um, every year. It's always fun to kind of look back on your year going into the new year. Um, so that's it for me. I, once again, thank you. It was really honestly a fantastic year for me because like I said, I'm not spending as much time on this hobby as I would like to, um, but I still get a great amount of support. Um, I have a really supportive partner. He's awesome. He has no problem with me doing this and, you know, comes to my streams and um, puts my videos on like a playlist and watches them. And if I'm like, I need to go record, he's like, okay, fine, you go do that. Um, I've got really supportive friends who watch my stuff and uh, I've got really supportive viewers as well. Like I said, lots of uh, feedback. Um, even though I don't stream very often, I usually get a pretty decent amount of people coming to the streams and just hanging out and chatting. Um, and it always still feels worth it to me. I always still have a really good feeling in here when I post videos because um, a lot of you tell me that, you know, you just like the sound of my voice or you find it very relaxing or I've shown you a game that you didn't even know existed and you really enjoyed it. So those are the kinds of things that make me really happy. Um, and uh, I hope, like I said, that I'll be able to keep doing this into 2020. Um, and if you have any comments, if you have questions, if you have feedback, if you have whatever, you feel free to leave it in the comments. 
I hope you all had a fantastic year. If you didn't have a great year, I hope next year will be better for you. For those of you who had a good year, I hope next year will be even better. Um, and uh, the next time you see my face, hopefully I will be doing the um, 2019 wrap up video. So that's it for me. Thank you for listening to my incredibly long rambling as per usual. And uh, let's make it another great year, guys. Thank you all so very much for your support. And uh, I hope to see you all around in 2020.